Hello, Internet Dwellers, and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft for funsies. I am your host, Jeff Bell, and welcome back to the show. So, as you can tell from what's currently behind me, a lot got done. And a lot got done during a time-lapse building uh, session that... Uh, Almost everything you saw behind me outside of the firehouse was done in a single time-lapse session, which when I went to go record this opening, I found my file had been corrupted. So all of that footage is gone. So we're just going to have to take a tour, as I had planned on anyways, uh, but uh, we're just going to have to do it this way. So yeah, all of these buildings, I actually had a good uh, little time-lapse of, of building them, um, yeah, especially that one. It's It was a lot of uh, the magic wand, obviously, so it wasn't anything huge that you're missing out on. But uh, nonetheless, I, I wanted to at least show the building of those buildings. And yeah, guess not. Guess that's how, uh, that's how the day is going to be, apparently, right there. So anyways, uh, we're just going to be a really short episode, really quick, just to kind of give a quick run over or rundown. A run over? Yeah, we're going to run over everything, Jeff. <sighs> a rundown of uh, everything that got taken care of uh, surrounding the fire station. So let's get right on to it. The inside of the fire station. Uh, first off, I added those little uh, posts on the front. The only way we can get in is through the side door. We're going to do that. So this is what I built of the inside. I only built the first floor. I didn't heavily, you know, detail this out or decorate this whatsoever. It's kind of just this because I realized we'll maybe film in here or film something in here, but we're not going to fully uh, full blown use the inside of the fire station, at least not anytime soon. When that time comes, we'll finish decking it out later. Uh, the inside design is obviously, of course, is trying to match the inside of the uh, actual fire station. According to the movie, I did do it's, it's two bricks thick. So as you can see here, there's a, a second layer here just so we could get that design scheme. And it still works. The uh, the general supports are going up. The ceiling in the actual one is more detailed than what I have uh, built here. I probably could... Uh, hold on, not that. There we go. I probably could put in some more center supports because there's a lot of this... Ugh, I don't know why my copy's doing that. There's a lot of uh, stuff like... Not, not like that. Like this... In the actual location, it has a very detailed, very ornate ceiling. So that could be something we do at a later date. Um, I am using the lanterns, the sea lanterns, for the lighting in here. Uh, instead of just standard glowstone, just because they look a little nicer. Plus it's a little softer of a glow. Um, the staircase that does go upstairs to the second floor, but again, as I said, there is not much decoration up in here i just kind of maintained the decoration to the first floor uh so that way we could if we needed to we could open up the door and you could kind of see inside so that's all for the inside of the building i didn't do any other changes i attempted to try out a different uh, scheme for these locations these these bricks uh, that i seen on another minecraft video but i couldn't quite get them to look the way that i wanted them to so i went back to here that was an unnecessary detail, but I just wanted to inform you because that was all stuff that was inside that uh, little time-lapse video that is now bye-bye. Um, doing some more research and some more uh, looking online, I realized that this is nothing more than just a, a false uh, continuation of the building onto this building. There's no roof, there's nothing else like that. It is literally just a back alleyway. Uh, a back alleyway which... Where's my door? Uh, the back alleyway which actually pretty much is just that. Um has a door onto it that blocks off from the street but is really just an open alleyway uh what i did do is on i so I, this was the first building i built on the right hand side here uh there is a there's a little bit of a gate of there oops i don't need those anymore that was just so i could keep track of how wide that is i did not put a lot of detail back in here i could put garbage cans and uh, cars and all that stuff i just did not get around to doing that portion i did put a gate of fence across because there is a little bit of one uh, this building right here which was kind of fun because this was a crazy amount of detail i'm not used to doing and it's kind of a fun just little challenge uh, overall this appears to be something of like a restaurant with obviously uh, apartments above it uh, a lot of uh, ornate you know for me this is a ton of ornate detail that i'm again not used to doing on a building and this is correct where 
these little flanges are not on this floor, as far as I could tell from all of my photographs. So it's kind of weird. And then each time, each one of these bays is slightly different. So like this first floor has a door coming out on it. This one is just windows. This one's just windows. And then this one has a door on it. And this one's back to just being windows again. It's kind of weird. But they all have fire escapes. And I had attempted, uh, using World Edit, I actually attempted to duplicate this row of, uh, uh, of iron gates out one, but yeah, that happens every time. They just pop off and destroy it. Cause I was trying to make that a little bit wider and I couldn't get a good way to do that, that I was happy with. Um, again, no insides. I put the ground floors in just so that way there was, you know, some, there wasn't just, these weren't just fully hollow shells, but there's no interior design on that. Uh, I did start building the next building here, but then I realized I don't need to go that far out because we might want to put something there in the future. As for the ceilings and the, or the, not the ceilings, as for the roofs, I did put a tiny little bit, bit of detail on this one. Nothing too fancy. I want to kind of play around with this and work with this because there's going to be more, um, down the line there would be more structures like this hold on probably just popping up around it where we can put that up and then we can put that up so it's almost like chimney stacks or something like that's the type of stuff that we can put in later granted we'll never really be on the floor looking or on the up in the air looking down at these buildings in a lot of cases we'll probably just be down on ground height so now as for this structure again much like the other one nothing inside just all an outside shell but still pretty pretty damn big it was a huge huge structure there's like a restaurant that's right here and i might go back and just put something inside this so that way it's just not all grass because there is a door over here uh that just goes into a giant grass area this one i did not put the floors in because it's so giant and i ended up using black or white glass windows you can't really see inside so this one i didn't care so much about but uh again i probably could go back and put the floors in because this is just a massive <laughs> open <laughs> open space uh yeah very big and hollow and empty but would be a very cool building to uh have actually lived in if i can get out if i can get there we go so this building, uh, nothing too complicated, a little bit of a, a landing part, like just like a little bit of a balcony right there, and then just going all the way up to the tip top. Um, looking online, I had found that this portion of the building was slightly bit higher based upon the spacing between the apartments. So that's what that's why there is a level, which is good because I don't always like just doing flat roofs like that. I kind of like this this tiered effect very boring from the backside. i did not bother looking to see if there was windows all across that so that might be something we change in the future uh kind of just depending upon what we end up building over on that side what butts up against that but yeah so all in all again this is a very this is gonna be a very very short episode because this is pretty much it we are done with the build and that's enough for me for the uh, surrounding buildings and the decoration. Uh, again, I want to leave as much open space for other buildings. And then if, you know, if, if we build something coming off of uh, Hill Valley and there's an open gap, then maybe I go back and I build that building that's next to it and, and all sorts of stuff. So, but yeah, that is, that is pretty much pretty much it i can't find it oh no oh i just oh i did a screenshot i did a screenshot oh how embarrassing oh how embarrassing uh and then i was messing around with uh, stoplights and this is please don't make fun of this this is <laughs> this is just horrendous i gotta i gotta try to figure out a better way to do the stoplights than that but yeah so that right there we'll do a quick just little higher fly around that is it for the ghostbusters firehouse so now next time, uh, we'll try to figure out what we're going to do next for our next build. If we're going to do more of the New York city builds, maybe, like I said, maybe we'll do like Seinfeld or something like that. You just have to wait and see. I'll see what, what, what just sounds good. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But that is, uh, that's it. It's a nice little build. It's a nice little, uh, corner spot is very easily recognizable. And, uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's a it was, it was a fun very fast build to do. So I just kind of wish you guys could have seen the time lapse because ah, that'd been great. 
like the first like 10 minutes of the time lapse worked and then it froze when i paused the game at one point during it and never came back <laughs> it was very embarrassing so anyways with that i am jeff thank you guys for watching the ghostbusters uh minecraft build and like i said if you guys have any comments or questions or suggestions for future builds uh movie or television locations that you'd like to see us do or us by us, I mean me, uh, leave those in the comments below or just let me know if you know who I am. That would be fantastic. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And apparently the, uh, the popular phrase was I nearly died. That's my, that's my call off. That's what I'm going to do. It's going to, it's going to do. And I'm nearly, I, I nearly died. All right. I nearly died. Yeah, no. No.